All right, let's see how we're going here. I didn't set up my camera ahead of time because I figured I move it around a hundred times when I'm doing a live anyway. So what's the diff? <clears throat> All right, let's see if it's streaming without the awful pixelating issue that I had. Let's go down more. Oh, that's probably too high. Oh, let's see there. I knock everything over. I can only see the top of my head. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> I want to. I want to knock everything down. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Let's see. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Um. <laughs> I can't tell if you only see the top of my head. No, well, you're seeing you're seeing kitty cat ears, anyways. Okay. So here we are. Um, setting my handy dandy timer because I have to keep myself in check with my time and I'm going to be starting on a new board. So I've been working, I found, I find it really cool to, ha I have these really big, uh, chalkboards that I picked up for a steal around the holidays. <clears throat> um, and I bought a whole bunch of them and I was going to do a class with them and then I started to use them and so then I wanted to keep them. <laughs> so let me just share this into my VIP group so that if anybody is over there and wishes to come and watch this, it'll be fun because what I did last time is, oh hi Charmaine, what people are here already? Hello Charmaine, hello Michelle, thanks for stopping by. Um. I had such fun putting um, a poll in my, in my, um, I put a poll in my VIP group so that people can choose what, what we were going to do next. And it was really kind of fun because, you know, people got involved and it was fun. And so that was how I chose what to do next on my little board. And so my springboard is done. All right. So I posted a picture of it, but I'm going to show you it right now. I'm going to try to, let me just see if I can get a better light here. I, I got these new lights <clears throat> and I like them, but of course, like with everything, I have, there's like a learning curve. <laughs> and so I have these giant umbrellas here trying to give me good light. All right. I think that's good. All right. Trying to give me better light. So, um, I want to, I, I have to still mess around with it. All right. So here is the springboard all done okay there it is it says spring is in the air and i just realized that i didn't fix that there's like a, a a piece um i got a line of uh of the blue paste here i didn't wash it off i, I meant to scrape it off to make it look neat <sighs> because that's the fun of chocolate you can just wipe it off if you want to so here is my here is our little spring scene can i get it closer for you guys to see it came out so cute i loved it so much i had so much fun with it so i have some other of these boards and I thought let me do another scene I just posted a picture of it as my um as my uh Facebook cover photo so make sure that I hit start on that did I there okay okay so what I want to do is I have another board all right another one it's all blank there we go nice and blank this is from the Board Dude, so it's a really nice board. And when I did the Easter one, I don't know if you can see the Easter one back here. When I did the Easter one, I did one, then I let it sit for a few days, and I washed it off to see if I can use the board again, and I could. It left a little bit of shadowing, but I used our um, eraser, our board eraser for it. Oh, hi, people are stopping by, hello. It's nice to see everybody. I'm just sitting here chalk, chalk, chalking away talking about how I'm going to be doing a new scene with the farm and the tractor. Okay, so I'm going to be adding things as I go along over the next couple of days because it was so much fun to do the bunnies. I love those bunnies. Hi, Donna. Thanks for stopping by. I see my, my, film, my, um, my recording is still pixelated. I'm just going to work my way through it and whatever happens, happens. Cable guys are coming tomorrow. We'll see. Told me if I use Wi-Fi that it would be better, so my phone is set to 4G, so we'll have to see what happens. Okay, so I figured, I'm going to start with the farm. I'm going to turn the camera down, so if you get nauseous from me moving the camera, 
Turn your head away. <laughs> Look the other way. Upside down, lean it this way. Okay, try not to drop it. And this is, <clears throat> this is a big board, so I wanna have my camera up high to make sure that you can see where I'm working. All right, I think, I think that should be good. Okay, so now you can see where I'm working. I've used this before. I made pillows, I made a plaque. Um, I did something else with it and I can't remember what the other thing was that I did. But I know that I got a couple of uses out of this already. So this is gonna be maybe the third or fourth time that I'm using this, which makes it fun because it just shows again how you can reuse these again and again, not like stencils that are a one use only thing. These transfers can be used over and over again. That's what makes them cool and special. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to put the farm down here and the tractor here. And I have an idea of what I want to do with the words. And there's a windmill. So let's just start with, hi, Cody. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, this is a layered transfer. So we're going to put um, the, this one down first, this one down second. All right, and it's gonna go on top of it. So this is gonna be the red part of the barn because I like a red barn. And this is going to be the outline in black. All right, I'm gonna do a, just a, a traditional red barn. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna look cool. And one of the things that the company is doing, I'm gonna peel this off, whoops. Okay, so these are adhesive back silk screen transfers. They're not stencils because the stencil is all open. When you look here at this transfer, you can see it has netting in here. So it's a very fine, fine silk screen. That's what makes the paste go on so smooth and what gives it a smooth, polished look, yet the transfers are made to look like they're chalked. So there's little spots in there that make it look like you, you know how when you rot, you, you, you draw a piece of, um, what is that, a, a chalk on a chalkboard, and it looks got like, you know, like little little dots are missing. So that's what they do on some of the transfers to really give it like a nice look. What I'm doing now is I'm fuzzing it. The transfers are super, super adhesive, and so you put a little lint on the back so that when you put it down on your uh, surface, it doesn't stick so hard that when you pull it off, it stretches. It's a material. If it stretches, the next time you go to use it, it's going to... Um, this down a little <clears throat> it's going to bleed through and you really want to avoid having it bleed through so that's why we fuzz it some ah, I'm just gonna feel it okay this is this is our company's towel you can use any towel this is costs the same amount as a regular towel but you, you can use a regular towel okay so you see on here I don't know if you can see it there it has a number one and then it has these little plus signs here and these are the guidelines that help us to line up the layer that's going to go on top of this. You really don't, you don't have to use them. I can use them on this chalkboard because it washes off, but if I was doing this on wood, <clears throat> um, then you really wouldn't want to have the, oh, I moved the, I moved the camera too close. Oh no. <laughs> um, you really don't want to have the, the guide marks because then they're not going to wipe off. But I'm going to do it on here because am I good? Yes. Okay. Because uh, I can just wash it off. All right. And you'll see how this comes together. Okay, I'm just pressing it on here. I don't have to press it down so hard. This is a super smooth chalkboard, really nice chalkboard. All right, I'm just making sure that there's no bubbles where the paste is gonna go. Bubbles over here, we don't care. Bubbles in here, you wanna make sure there are no bubbles because then it's gonna bleed and look yucky. Okay, I have a whole slew of paste colors here. They're so fun. They're so bright and cheerful. Okay, so red. All right, and I'm just going to get my mini squeegee because I feel like that one's going to work the best. All right, open it up, open it up. Okay, my paste needs to be stirred some. I'm just going to give it a quick stir, not being over the board, and then I'll go back to show you. This, just have to stir it up a little bit. I've had, this is one of my... This is only my second jar of paste in red. The paste lasts forever. It really does last a long time. You use so little when you're making these cool things. Even when you use them again and again and again, you still, you still don't use a lot. 
All right, so I'm gonna chuck this in the water. Okay, now, <clears throat> just gonna scoop some up. I put some here and here, and I'm just gonna spread it over wherever you can see the transfer. You just, super easy, you just spread it right over there. I'm telling you, I am addicted to this stuff. My husband's like, are you chalking again? Are you gonna put chalk on it again? <laughs> I don't know if my kids remember, I used to paint everything. So now instead of painting everything, it's like, did you chalk that? Yes, I did, I chalked it. All right, now I wanna go down close there. All right, put a little bit more on. Put a little fencing over here. All right, that's good. Now we're ready to peel it off. Super easy. How easy was that? I sound like Ina Garten. How easy is that? Okay. I uh, okay. I'm gonna use the guide marks. I think I can hurry because it's gonna start to dry. I'm just gonna put the guide marks on just to show what they do. All right. All right. I hope it didn't dry while it was in there. Let's see. Nope, we're good. Oh, look how cool that is. It's a farm. <laughs> it is a cute barn. It's not a farm, it's a barn. I think I called it a farmhouse. It's not a farmhouse, Donna, duh, it's a barn. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks for sharing, hon. Oh yeah, if you guys can give me likes and thumbs up. I did not realize that Hmm. You can give a thumbs up and a heart or whatever up there where it says the thumbs up like, but right below where the video is showing, there's these little icons there that you can like click and it gives like hearts the bubble. They, they bubble up the heart. It's, it's kind of fun. So you, I don't, I don't know if that does anything <laughs> to uh, inspire Facebook to share my video with more people, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool because when I started clicking on it, I was like, oh, look, the bubbles are coming up. And it comes up in like a little heart. And inside the heart is whatever your um, whatever your profile picture is. It's pretty funny. Okay, so of course this is a layer, so this has to dry. I just want to show you if you can see the tiny little dots there. Okay, those are little dots that we're going to use to line up, um, to line it up to keep it all even, Stephen here. And let me see, I'm going to get my blow dryer. <clears throat> I have my blow dryer here, but it's over here now. All right, so I'm going to use just a blow dryer to, to dry it some. I don't want it to pull off. <clears throat> I should have had this plugged in, but I didn't. All right, just going to use some heat. see the color gets brighter as it dries also pull it down a little closer all right here okay that's good and dry now I've said before there's a difference between um, dry and set I'm trying to bring it down closer so that you can see it so just because it's dry doesn't mean it's 100% set, right? And what that means is when I take this second transfer and put it over an overlay, I'm not going to want to press on it so hard because I don't want it to peel off the work that I already did. All right, it's dry, so it's really not going to pull off. But if I press it down really hard, it might. So we want to avoid that, all right? Something that helps is fuzzing this also some people wax they use finishing wax on the chalk in order to help seal it I have not had success with that 
when I do that, it makes one hot mess. So I have to practice with that because other people do it and I can't, and I don't know why. What a day it was today. Happy Easter, everybody. I forgot to wish everybody a happy Easter, if you observe. Happy Passover, which was Friday, actually. <clears throat> and it was a beautiful day. It did start to rain later on, but it was beautiful enough to go to church and to go for a nice drive over to Promised Land Park, which is one of our favorite places to go. We couldn't walk around because everything, everything is wet. <laughs> okay, so here's the overlay. And now you can see, oh, there are little, the little dots are on this one also. So I'm going to line up the dots. Hi, Julie. Thank you for stopping by. See my little video. I appreciate that. Okay. So I'm like blind. I need my, um, I need my, uh, I need my glasses on when I'm doing this. Okay. Now, it appears that that's all set right there. You can also tell because, um, I'm going to pull it off again, but just you can see it's open here. So that's where you're going to line up the transfer to be. So that's another way to do it if you're, if you're old and blind. But uh, that's looking good. That is looking good. Okay, so... I'm gonna, I don't mind pressing it a little bit over here. Now you can see this is the outline and this is the silo. So I want the silo to be red. I'm not going to worry about the little window here because the window should be black. The line should be black. The rest should be gray. That's not going to happen because, you know, it's going to show through the black here. And I could do the silo top gray, which I might. So I'm going to do peel and dry. I'm going to do the silo top the silo and then the um I want to say that that's a shed but I can't I can't picture it now when, that it's covered up and then I'm going to peel it up and let that dry so I don't have to rush working on this side right so that's that's a cool method that uh you can use when you want to do multiple colors or when I do really big transfers you just do it in sections it makes it look so hard but it's so so super easy all right, I have Storm that I'm going to use for the silo top. And I think I'm going to do this top also here. I'll see if I can do it without getting it <clears throat> on there. And I need my red again. And you know I said earlier that my red is old? Oh my gosh, it's got a, it smells funny <laughs> because it's old. It's like old paste. It still works fine. Okay, so I'm going to do the red first because the red is a larger area. So it's going to dry a little bit slower. I am going to use a blow dryer to um, <clears throat> speed up the drying. All right, I need my um, I need my multi tool. I should have had that first. All right, the multi tool is cool because it has this little. It has a little. Um, it's just a little uh, squeegee on the bottom there. I mean on on the tip. So. And because it's supposed to be chalk, I, I, you know, you don't have to be 100% meticulous. I know some people are and they get beautiful, perfect designs. Mine, mm, they're very close to perfect. If I was making this for somebody else, because I do custom pieces, I did some for Easter that were so much fun to do. If I do a custom piece, I am neurotic about it. I make sure that it is done really, really <clears throat> really as best I can and if it's not I just take it off and do it again which is kind of cool that you can do that with all right <clears throat> that you can do that with the chalk you can't do that with with paint I mean when you paint it's done you can't you can't wash it off it's finished and if it doesn't come out well well you're too bad <laughs> you can't do anything really about it <clears throat> Although I am not a painter, so maybe you can, but I, I kind of think that it would be difficult to wash off an entire picture if it didn't come out the way you wanted it to come out. All right, so I'm going to leave that a little thick because <clears throat> I don't want it to dry right away. It's already starting to dry, you can see. So I'm going to take my, my, gray, my gray. Hey, I feel like I'm putting it in there and I'm not. All right, and I'm just going to do... The top of the silo.
and I'm going to do the little roof of the shed there. Okay. Now I have my bright white and my bright right white is going to do the fence and I'm going to do the trim in white because it's on black. It doesn't pay to use black um, on the trim at that point because it's not going to show. So I'm going to scrape off the excess red. And then you'll see what I mean in just a second about peeling it and letting it dry a bit. I'm going to scrape off the excess of this as well. All right. I do have my white. I'm going to do the little fence here real quick. And we're good to go. So I'm going to peel it up, but I'm not going to take the whole thing off. I'm just going to peel the side. You'll see. <sighs> Look how cute that is. Look how cute. It's so cute. So that's my silo. Oop. Now, I'm going to put that there just to hold it down. And I'm going to use a blow dryer to dry that so that I can let the transfer go back and not worry about it dry, uh, getting must with the... Um, when it touches, so give me one second. Okay, that's pretty dry. I see it's a tiny bit not dry there, but I think that that's going to be okay because I'm not going to press it down. I'm just going to let it kind of just let it fall over there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this called a corn crib? Is that what that is? Is that called, is that the corn crib? I was looking at that saying, huh, it's not a, it doesn't look like it's for an animal. Let's make sure. You know what? I just want to do that little section just a little bit more. I didn't realize that the transfer is going to go right up against there. So I just want to make sure it's not going to cause a problem. But you see how now if that touches, I'm not concerned because uh, it's dry. So it's not going to peel off. I'll make sure that we're not peeling that off here. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. So I'm going to do the perimeter of this with bright white. And I want to use my multi-tool. Let me just feed it off because then I can get very close to the corners there without having to worry about going over. Just allows you to get into those little bitty corner parts. I just have to clean it off. All right, so that's nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to throw these in the water over here. Cover this, cover that. Okay, before I cover them up, I spray them a little bit with distilled water. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start over here. Mm, no, I'm just going to swipe it across for, instead. And then I'll get to that little part afterwards. I'm going to use a larger squeegee for that, even though this is technically our small squeegee. And the other one that I used was, is called the mini squeegee. Okay, so here's some paste. Oh. And... I really just have to go around wherever I see, <clears throat> wherever I see the silk screen. That's where the paste needs to be. I should have put more on there. This is a little too thick. I always have this problem with my paste getting a little bit too thick. You just put a little water in it and it gets it good going to a, a cake batter, like a pancake batter consistency. Okay. The problem when it's this thick is that it tends to dry very fast. All right. So now I can see already, I'm going to lift this up and I'm not going to reveal it yet because I want to be able to do this part here. Hopefully I haven't messed it up, but I didn't want it to dry. I didn't want it to dry in there because then it not just messes up the red, I mean the white, it messes up the red too. So 
we'll see what we got going there. All right, let's see if I did it okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. It's so, so cute. I am in love with this barn. I love the barn. Loving, loving, loving the barn. Okay, so now this is my board that I'm going to be working on over the next several days. So I'm going to be adding things over the days. And what I do is I put out polls and I let people help me decide what is going to be next. We did that with the bunny one, with the spring one. If you're interested in knowing what the spring one turned out looking like, you can just look at my cover photo. My cover picture is a picture of the bunnies. If you click on that, you can see the whole spring scene. All right, so now I just want to bring it down real close so you can see. Uh, okay, so here's the barn, and you can see the little marks, right? So they were the little marks that we used to line up uh, the, the overlay transfer. That's how it, it gets even. You can work it around a little and, and, you know, line it up. But these little dots help if you're not blind like me. Um, I, I saw them, but um, they were kind of small for me. I just needed to have my glasses on. But the cool thing is all you do is take some, a little bit of wet whatever. I'm going to use I happen to have here. I can pull one out. Huh. I have a Lysol wipe that I'm going to use. You don't have to use a Lysol wipe. Not by any means do you need to use a Lysol wipe. But I have one here, and I'm going to use a Lysol wipe on the perfect. Thanks, Michelle. I'm glad you think it's perfect. I think it came out really cute. It's kind of hard to mess up. I mean, I've found ways to mess up. Chuck, don't get me wrong. I just don't, I don't like to mess up because then I have to take it off and do it again. But I'm glad that I can take it off and do it again which is what makes it so fun. Okay, so see what I just did there? I just wiped them off. Now they're gone. If I wanted to, if I didn't like the way this came out, I could take it and spray it with water and just wipe it all off. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for stopping by. Who else is here? Hi, Julie. I think I said hi to Julie already. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dual hellos. Um, all right, so I'm going to finish up here. I'm done. Not going to do any more. I do have a tractor that's going to be coming and a windmill and I have other things and grass I'm going to put around. So I hope you guys stop by again. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Give me a little heart. A share is amazing. If you think somebody else might have fun watching this, share it. I have it set to public so it can be shared by everyone. And if you want to be part of those that poll and help me make decisions on what the next thing is going to be, just shoot me a private message and let me know that you'd like to be a part of that. I can put you into my VIP group if you want. If you hate it, you can just leave. There's nothing nothing fancy over there uh, other than I can offer different things that they don't let me offer on my public page. So, all right, I'm going to go if I can find my, my mouse. And again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really love the way our little farm is going along. Can't wait to see more of what this is going to look like. Excellent. All right, everybody have a great night.